at Be Frank, we often use mnemonic devices to help our students learn certain rhythms. For example, it's a lot easier to memorize if you think of it as pepperoni pizza. So Brian Balmages and his wife were at home discussing this particular mnemonic device, and it occurred to Brian that he could write an entire piece with this mnemonic device. And thus, Pepperoni Pizza Rock was born. I've noticed ever since learning this piece that our students have pointed out every single instance of the pepperoni pizza rhythm in their new music, which I think is a cool outcome. Another thing that I love about this piece is the fact that there's an entire section in the middle dedicated to student improvisation. So students get an opportunity to make up their own music on the fly in a safe space early on so they can take that skill with them confidently as they get older. I've really enjoyed putting this piece together with your kids and I hope that you enjoyed listening to it.
This next piece is an English sea chanty. You might know it by another name, which I won't mention here, but a chanty or shanty is a kind of song which sailors in large crews would sing in order to keep up their work pace. Uh, apparently it's a very popular genre on TikTok nowadays. Uh, you'll notice that many of our students are not using their music for this because they have it memorized. And then you'll also notice that in our lower strings section, the basses and the cellos, they're doing something very interesting where they're plucking the strings and then they're slapping it. And it produces this really cool percussive effect. Many of our students have really risen to the occasion for this song. So we're very happy to present to you an English sea chanty. Hey everyone, Mr. Yu here. The next piece that we're gonna to listen to is a body percussion rondo written by Jim Solomon. This is a piece that I learned back in 2009 when I attended the University of Oregon uh, to get my Orff Schulwerk certification. Um, it's Orff Schulwerk is all about sing, play, move and not a lot of reading of the music. And so at times um, in classes this year, we've taken some brain breaks and done some body percussion. All of these body percussion patterns were learned through, uh, through different words and, uh, and celebratory uh, comments of, of their experiences in orchestra and just in music in general. So be sure to ask your students about some of the words in here. Um, and without further ado, Body Percussion Rondo by Jim Solomon.
Great work, everybody. It was so much fun putting that together with you guys. The last piece on the program is a piece by Soon He Newbold called Rhythm and Blues. There's going to be a melody that's shared throughout the ensemble. Violins, violas, cellos, and basses, they all get it. And it wouldn't be blues without that classic um, walking bass line shared by the cellos and the basses. Um, there's a little bit of an interlude in, in the middle that, uh, that shares some of the, the characteristics of the piece that you just heard. Um, without further ado, I hope you enjoy Rhythm and Blues by Soon He Newbold. <laughs> That's it, everybody. Hope you guys have a wonderful and safe new year.